Welcome back to our PLC basic course. It's great to have you here again. Today we are diving into another important topic that will bring us one step closer to mastering PLC programming. Let's do a very quick recap of what we've learned so far. Our ultimate goal is to write the program for our training system. To get started, we created a project that includes organization block 1. In the last video, we set up PLC tags, which serve as the connection between the PLC program and the physical inputs and outputs. The last step before we begin programming is selecting the right programming language. That's the focus of this video, let's dive in. Before we can choose the right programming language for our project, we first need to get familiar with all the options. A Siemens Semantic S7-1500 can be programmed in the following languages. LID, Ladder Logic. FBD, Function Block Diagram. SCL, Structured Control Language. STL, Statement List. And the Sequential Function Chart, which is called Graph. These programming languages are the most commonly used in practice, but there are more options which many people don't know. CEM cause effect matrix and CFC continuous function chart were introduced with TI Portal version 17. Honestly, I don't know anyone who uses CEM. CFC on the other hand requires an additional software package. For this reason, we won't cover these programming languages in the course. The Zematic S7-1200 is the smaller brother of the S7-1500. It supports programming in LID, FBD and SCL, but not in STL or Graph. But don't worry, why this isn't such a big deal, I will explain later in the course. Please keep in mind that these five programming languages are available for Siemens controllers. Other manufacturers may offer different options. Most companies follow the international standard IEC 61131-3, which aims to standardize PLC programming. In this standard, the programming languages have slightly different names, but they are still very similar to the ones used by Siemens. For example, in the standard, ladder logic is called ladder diagram. SCL is called structured text ST. STL is known as instruction list IL and S7 graph is referred to as sequential function chart SFC. Siemens doesn't strictly follow the international standard. However, if you know how to program a Siemens controller, you will find it easy to work with other devices. Programming languages across different manufacturers are usually quite similar. Let's now answer a question every PLC programmer asks sooner or later. Which programming language is the best? This question is a bit like asking a craftsman, what is the best tool in your toolbox? The craftsman will likely reply, it depends on what I want to do. For driving a nail into the wall, the best tool is a hammer. For cutting a piece of wood, the best tool is a saw. And it's exactly the same with programming languages. There is no universal answer. The best programming language depends on the specific application you are working on. To decide which language is the best for our training system, we first need to take a closer look at each one. We will begin with ladder logic LAD. Here is an example of what a simple program in this language might look like. Ladder logic is a graphical programming language. What you can see here is called a rung. Larger programs are made up of multiple rungs, creating a structure that looks like a ladder. That's where the name ladder logic comes from. You read the program from left to right. On the left side you see the inputs and on the right side you can find the outputs. Debugging in ladder logic is very easy, which is why the programming language is so popular among maintenance technicians. Let's go through a quick example. Imagine you have two push buttons as inputs and a lamp wired to an output. 
When we connect the controller online, we can monitor the program in real time. We can see that voltage is present at the first push button. When we press the button, the current is allowed to flow to the next button. Now, here is a question for you. What needs to happen for the lamp at the output to light up? Exactly. The second push button also needs to be pressed. Level logic is easy to read and understand, which is one of the reasons it's such a popular programming language. Ladder is perfect for handling Boolean logic. We will dive deeper into that topic later in the course. In general, ladder logic is used for simpler tasks, which by the way will make up the majority of your project. For more complex applications, such as data management or advanced calculations, other programming languages might be better. Ladder logic is great for beginners and electricians. This programming language looks a little bit like an electrical circuit diagram and that's no coincidence. In the past, machines were controlled using relay logic. When PLCs were invented, the goal was to create a programming language that would simplify the transition from relay logic to the PLC. This is why the design was modeled after electrical circuit diagrams. All right, everyone, we have spent a lot of time discussing ladder logic and this for a good reason. Ladder logic is the most widely used programming language in the world. For example, in the United States, this programming language is often regarded as the industry standard. The popularity of programming languages also depends on the country you live in. In Germany, for example, where I live, function block diagram is widely used. Next, we will take a closer look at this programming language. Here is an example of a simple program written in function block diagram. FBD has a lot of common with ladder logic as both are graphical programming languages. In FBD, we create a program by adding function blocks and connecting them together. Function block diagram is very easy to debug. When connecting to the device online, you can clearly see which inputs are true or false. For example, this AND block will only activate if input 1 and input 2 provide a 24 volt signal. Like ladder logic, FBD is perfect for handling Boolean logic, which forms the foundation of most PLC programs. For data management and complex calculations, you should use another programming language. FBD is also great for beginners because it's super easy to read, write and understand. This is one of the reasons I personally love this programming language. Thank you so much for learning PLC programming with me. If you want to take your skills to the next level, visit my website. Join my full online course and start your journey as a PLC programmer. I would love to have you on board. Let's move on to the next programming language, SCL, Structured Control Language. Here is how the same program we just saw on LED and FBD looks when written in SCL. As you have probably noticed, SCL is not a graphical programming language, it's text-based. This means you type in the code directly. In comparison, with LED and FBD, you use drag and drop to add objects to your program. Text-based programming languages are often harder to debug. In SCL, when monitoring the program live, the status of inputs and outputs is displayed on the right side. Especially in larger projects, it can be challenging to clearly understand the relationships between different program parts. But SCL is by far the most powerful programming language for advanced applications like complex calculations and data management. It also allows you to create loops, which are instructions that execute repeatedly. This can solve problems in just a few lines of code that would require hundreds of networks in LAD or FPD. In the past, most PLC programmers had an electrical background. Today, many programmers come from IT or universities. For those with experience in high-level programming languages, SCL can be a great choice.
However, beginners and maintenance technicians often struggle with SCL at first. Let's move on to the next programming language, statement list, STL. Here is how the same program looks in STL. As you can see, this is another text-based programming language, which means you will need to type the code manually. This is often quicker than programming in letter or FBD. In this example, A represents AND. If input 1 and input 2 are true, output 1 will be activated. Text-based programming languages are often more challenging to debug than graphical ones. And this is true for statement list as well. STL is the grandfather of all PLC programming languages. You can still find STL in many older systems. However, new machines should no longer be programmed using STL as this language is considered outdated. Statement list is a powerful tool that offers a wide range of possibilities. As a beginner, you will find it much more challenging to work with STL compared to LAD or FBD. So only learn this programming language if you have to. Let's now take a look at the last language in our toolbox, sequential function chart in the Siemens universe, also known as a seven graph. Graph is another graphical programming language designed for sequencing processes. A program in graph consists of steps and transitions. A step might activate a motor while a transition defines a condition that must be true to move to the next step. This makes graph very easy to debug. In online mode, you can clearly see which step is currently active and check which condition hasn't been met. However, graph is not suitable for every application. It is not good for Boolean logic, complex calculations or nonlinear processes. This language is designed for linear sequences. So everything which can be divided into single steps. As a result, graph is much less commonly used than LAD, FBD or SCL. Only learn it if you have to. All right, everyone. Now that we have explored the key programming languages for a Siemens PLC, you are probably wondering which one is the best for beginners. Let's dive in and find the answer together. If you come from an electrical background or you have little or no experience with any kind of programming, starting with LAD or FBD is a great choice. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, as TIA Portal lets you easily switch between these two. Unfortunately, this feature is only available for LAD and FBD and not for other programming languages. SCL might be the right choice if you already have experience with other text-based programming languages. In practice, you won't be able to avoid working with ladder logic or function block diagram at some point. So you can also start with one of these if you have an IT background. Let's move on to the final question. Which programming language will we use in the PLC basic course? Here's the plan. We will start by creating programs in ladder logic as it is the most widely used language around the world. After that, we will switch the programming language from ladder logic to FPD and discuss the results. For those of you who are familiar with high level programming, I will also create a program in SCL at the end. This way we will cover the three most important programming languages for a Siemens PLC. Yoohoo! All right, everyone, we can now check off the next line of our to do list. Our first program will be created in ladder logic. In the next video, I will show you exactly how to do it. I'm excited to get started. See you soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you're excited to dive deeper into PLC programming, visit my website at plccoach.com. See you in the next video.